Hi, I'm Agnes from Bellevue. Please like and subscribe. My mom was a maid at a big mansion, and we both lived in a small room there. It wasn't bad, but I always wondered what the other big rooms were like. Once when I was four, I sneaked upstairs for the first time and walked into a fancy bedroom. There was a giant bed, and whoa, it was so soft and bouncy. I climbed up on it and jumped like crazy. Suddenly, someone came out of the restroom and shouted, You! What are you doing in my room? That was Mrs. Darcy, the rich lady who owned the house with her husband. I immediately jumped down and tried to run away, but I bumped into Mr. Darcy at the door. What's this girl doing here? Isn't she the maid's daughter? Yes, honey. I don't know why she's here. Let me check if she's stolen something. No, nothing. But can I take this bed? Um, but then where will you sleep? So can I just jump on it one last time, please? <laughs> oh, this girl is smart and cute. He put me back on the bed and said I could play there for as long as I wanted. He was so sweet. But seeing Mrs. Darcy glaring at me, I ran out that instant. A few days later, we heard Mrs. Darcy was pregnant, and soon little Bella was born. Though she was four years younger than me, we grew up like best pals. And when it was Bella's time for school, she insisted that I leave my public school and join hers instead. And Mr. Darcy happily agreed. I was super nervous about the new school, but my classmates were cool and I made friends quickly. I was doing really well in my lessons too, but sadly, Bella got all F's in her exams. From that day on, I started helping Bella with her homework. Soon I realized something though. She wasn't reading or writing at a normal pace like other kids. I tried speaking to Mr. Darcy, but his wife would never let me near him. So when Bella got bad grades again, I went with her to get the report card signed by her parents. Mr. Darcy looked a bit upset, but her mom wasn't bothered at all. Come on, honey. She has years to learn. Relax. But ma'am, I think Bella has some difficulty in learning. Don't bluff because you got all A's. You're not some teacher. My daughter is perfectly fine. She even tried to prove it a few days later at Mr. Darcy's birthday party, announcing that Bella was going to read out a poem for her dad. Oh, poor girl. She was stuttering at the very first line and everybody was staring at her. I couldn't see my best friend breaking down. I walked up to her and took the mic from her. I, uh, I think Bella is very nervous today. Come on, let's just read it together. And Bella whispered, I love you, Agnes. But this incident got Mr. Darcy's attention, and he came to school the next day to talk to her teachers, who told him Bella had dyslexia. That's when Mr. Darcy arranged for a special tutor for Bella, and I continued helping her with her homework and test prep too. Years passed, and she was improving steadily. Finally, in sixth grade, when Bella got straight A's, nobody was happier than me, and the Darcys even threw a celebration party. I was helping my mom in the kitchen when I heard Mr. Darcy calling out my name. I peeped out and he signaled me to join them. Come on, Agnes. You're the real angel today. The one who understood Bella more than us and helped her always. This party is for you. As he gently pulled me in, Mrs. Darcy looked furious. And in the photo shoot that followed, he literally glued me with Bella in every shot. It was a bit embarrassing, but holding Bella's hand like a sister made me quite happy. But suddenly, Bella shook off my hand and shouted, Dad, I'm tired. Can we stop this rubbish, please? And with that, she stormed off. What was going on with her? And the next morning, she'd just taken the car and driver and gone to school without me. I was too late to even catch the bus now. Just then, Mr. Darcy was heading out and offered to drop me off. During recess, I found her in the cafeteria. I walked up to her and took her hand. Hey, why'd you leave me this morning? Get your filthy hands off me, you maid. Wait, what did she just say? The whole cafeteria turned towards us, and Bella looked raging mad. Why did my dad drop you at school today? Because you left me behind, Bella. Call me Miss Bella. Fine, Miss Bella. And you call me, well, don't call me anything. I'm so disappointed in you. I pushed her back to her seat, but she missed and fell on the floor. I tried to pick her up, but she dragged me down and pulled my hair. We were wrestling on the floor with all the kids cheering around us when some teachers pulled us apart and gave us both a month's detention. I was so angry, I just stopped talking to her. 
Why had she become Mrs. Junior Darcy suddenly? Soon after, Bella's uncle came from Canada to visit the family, and she turned happy immediately because he was her favorite. One evening, I was sitting in the kitchen doing my homework when he came in, and he seemed really impressed by the math problems I'd just worked on. Well, clearly you're a very bright kid, 